Aloha, this is Alan. I'm at the Pearl Harbor uh, Headquarters Commander, U.S. Pacific Fleet. Got my post here in the middle of the street. And I got my banner. And I'm going to spread the gospel and a little message against abortion right here on December 7th, 2017. Just got done with the uh, Pearl Harbor ceremony at the Visitor Center at the Pearl Harbor Memorial, or Arizona Memorial. And uh, yeah, I got on live TV, man, with my shirt. You need Jesus. Right on live television. Amazing. So that was cool. Anyway, uh, you can look that up. I guess I was on a live feed uh, for the ceremony uh, at the Arizona Memorial uh, festivities they have every December 7th. So yeah, I'm just out here. Uh, Showing the banner. One side says abort. One side says abortion is murder. The other side says God hates has to shed innocent blood. Proverbs 16 or 6:16 6, and 17. Proverbs 6:16 6, and 17. So yeah, I got a lot of good comments walking around the area this morning. So I even had a guy with a with an uh, automatic weapon following me around. I guess they thought maybe I was a terrorist or something something should be looking for people with a jibs but uh yeah it was a nice event this morning so got to salute the flag with all the world war ii veterans there's only a few more survivors left from the generation they're all in their 90s <clears throat> from the pearl harbor attack they're all over 90. Uh, almost all of them were here i think all of them were here today, today. but uh yeah amazing so anyway I'm out here in the middle of the busy intersection it gets busy here sometimes how's it going guys all right Yeah. <clears throat> so, we don't need to fear another attack from the Japanese or the Chinese or the Koreans. We don't need to fear that. You know, our God protects us, but what we really need to fear in America as Americans is the wrath of God and the judgment of God coming on this nation for murdering babies, for homosexual perversion being tolerated in our society and legalized and legalizing sin that doesn't make it legal in God's eyes at all so I'm just trying to get the message out that everybody needs to repent starting in the house of God if you're a Christian you need to live holy you need to live righteously you need to live soberly godly in this present world like the Bible says as Christians to live holy be ye holy as I am holy as your father in heaven is holy Jesus said well I'm in my taxi line right over there and uh Sometimes I'll be sitting in here waiting. God bless you, sir. Thanks for your service. And so, yeah. See a soldier, thank a soldier. See a cop, thank a cop. Your freedom, your Bill of Rights is being enforced. You ought to be appreciative for the men that have fought the war, the uniform, the men that died to keep us, keep us free in America. And so, woe to us if we're not out spreading the gospel boldly in the streets with our freedom of speech freedom of religion freedom of the press exercise your rights get out there and spread the gospel stand out with a banner if you can't talk to people just stand out with a banner or st support a street preacher you know it's very rare to find I got involved in this you know because I wanted to do something for God I didn't want to just go to church people weren't coming to my church they didn't want to go to church they didn't want to read the gospel tracts I was doing 
give out a thousand gospel tracts, and then you, you know, if only one person reads it, that's great, and you should never stop. Don't ever stop giving out Bibles. Don't stop giving out tracts. Don't stop going to church. But get out and go preach the gospel to those people outside who are never going to go to your church, never going to read your Bible that you give them, never going to read your gospel tract. But if you preach in their ear, that doesn't return void. The word of God does not return void, according to Isaiah 55, 11. 55, 11. So shall thy word be that goeth forth out of thy mouth. It shall not return unto thee void. It shall accomplish that which is set forth to do. So yeah. Get out there and preach. Take a stand for Jesus Christ publicly. Well, this I don't want to make this a boring long video, so I'm just standing here. But just pray for us out here. Support street preaching. Get out and street preach. Please stand with the banner. Go out one hour a week. Take a stand. Go stand in front of an abortion clinic. Warn the wicked. They know that they're wrong for what they're doing. What they need to do is they need to hear not only their conscience, but they need to hear another voice saying, "Stop it." Leviticus 97. Or 19, 19 verse 17 talks about thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart but thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him that's <clears throat> Leviticus 19 17 so part of loving your neighbor is not hating them and not suffering sin upon them and rebuking them that's a loving thing to do but Sadly, in our churches today, they're teaching, you know, just be nice. Nice is not a Bible word. It's not in, found in the Bible. Kindness, lovingness, but it's not, it's very unkind and unloving to let somebody continue in sin without rebuking them. So shall thy word be that goeth forth out of thy mouth. It shall not return unto thee void, but it shall accomplish, accomplish that which... Right on, blood. God bless you. And shall prosper in the thing whereto he sent it. Now I got to go back and rememorize Isaiah 55 11. Sometimes I mess up the words. You got to get them right. You're studying scriptures in the King James Bible. It can be a little tough, but every word is pure. Preach the pure words of God. Not just the message. The message is great, but let's get the word of God, the pure word of God, out to people. And in English, it's the KJV. If you don't believe me, send me a text. 808-256-4264 and I'll send you all the information I have to prove it to you. I'm not a gifted teacher, but I can send you to some websites and to some videos that will lay it out there for you convincingly. NIV corrupt. ESV. Even the New King James Version has issues, guys. So, prove all that. I'm not going to divide over that. A lot of people just don't want to go there. They want to stay ignorant. If any man wants to be ignorant, let him be ignorant. As long as they repent of their sin and follow Jesus Christ as Lord of their life, I can consider that a brother and sister in Christ. So, anyway, we got to love people. Love your neighbor, love God. Love God supremely, love your neighbor equally. You can do that. See, God commands you to love him with all the ability that you do have, not the ability you don't have, but with all that you do have. Heart, soul, mind, and strength. God commands the possible, not the impossible. He says, go and sin no more. 
It presupposes that you can stop sinning because Jesus would never lie and say you can't do something. And he commands you to do it. He wouldn't put you into hell if you couldn't stop sinning. And he commands you to stop sinning. Go and sin no more. It's a commandment. Sin is breaking God's law. Jesus didn't come to destroy the law, but to establish the law. Some laws were changed. Law of Moses. Don't have to keep don't have to worry about being circumcised. Don't have to worry about a dietary plan. Don't have to worry about giving 10%. What you do need to do is turn from your sin. That's not a work. Stopping sinning is not works of the law of Moses. The moral law, however, never ceases. You're never allowed to murder. You can't have another God. You can't take the name of the Lord in vain. You can't make an idol. You remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But that doesn't mean you have to always go to church on Saturday. You can go to church every day. I, I esteem every day alive. I serve God every day. No murdering. Honor your father and mother. No adultery. No lying. No stealing. No coveting. Just keep the Ten Commandments. Pretty easy. Learn that in Sunday school or Sabbath school, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a Seventh Day Adventurer. I got saved when I was 24. I'm still in early Christianity. I've only been a Christian for 24 years. Some people got saved when they were 10. God bless you if you did. Maybe you never got to be a drug dealer. Maybe, maybe you didn't have four kids or three different women. And don't know how many women you've slept with in your life. I'm not. I'm ashamed of my sins. But you know what? I can go out. I can speak to fornicators. I can speak to liars. I can speak, speak to thieves, adulterers, drug addicts, alcoholics. The Bible words: drunkards. You're not a victim. You're a criminal. If you're sipping on gin and juice, with your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Time to repent, get right with God, live holy. So much fun serving God. It's fun. It's a joy. And you know what? You get persecuted. People look at you and think you're a fool. But the Bible says, it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. The preaching of the cross is foolishness unto them which are perishing. But, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God feel like a fool, if somebody says you look like a fool, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. And if people hate you, you're doing it right. Jesus said you will be hated. Fear not, folks. That's the most often repeated command in the Bible. Fear not. God says, let's see, Isaiah 55, 11, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. See, I knew it was in there somewhere. Isaiah 55, 11. Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. To our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Yeah. Alright guys, have a blessed day. Jesus loves you. Keep looking up. He's coming back anytime soon.